my YouTube channel. It's Clarice here. If you never know, now you know. Guys, go ahead. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell at the time I upload. You guys are the first to be notified. I just want to take this opportunity to, again to welcome all uh, my new subscriber and to my long time subscriber. Hey, as you can see, guys, I went ahead and I did my uh, brows off camera with the in, in the interest of time. I used my anchor brown pencil to draw my brow. And I use my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Cool Tan to carve out or to set my lid and to carve out my brows. I'm going to go in now, guys, with my um, little difficult brush here from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to go ahead and just going to set. You know, guys, with my favorite, favorite blended brush. It's the Ashley and this is the F20 blending brush going into my wahala palette i'm going to pick up the shade yap and i'm going to use yap as my transition color i'm just going to tap on the outer hand then i'm just going to drag it over into my inner in the, in the inner corner of my eyes Then I'm going to go in now, guys, with this little pencil brush here. It's a drugstore product, guys. It has no name. But it has this small little tip that can go into the crease of the eye. I'm going to go in now, guys, and I'm going to take up this dark blue here. And this dark blue is Dream. And I'm going to put Dream in the inner, in my, in my crease. And guys, as you can tell by the title of my video, it's going to be a green, smoky, glitter eye. Then I'm going to create an outer V. After blending that out, guys, and dragging it over into the inner corner here, you want to make sure that it is well blended out. I don't want any ash line, and I'm using the same little brush here to do the blending. After bending that out, guys, I'm going to pick up this dark brown here. This dark brown it is ASAP. I was going to take a small amount of ASAP and I was going to tap it on the outer corner just to darken it, deepen the look a little bit more. I'm going to go in now, guys, with this little shader brush from the Bingy, and I'm going to pick up this light shade of green. And I'm going to pack it here on the, the portion that is left out. we have a beautiful smoky green eye look at that guys it's a beautiful smoky eye guys i'm going to take this shimmery green it is um eta i'm going to use the same little brush here from the bingy it's going to take it up and tap it all over
Look at that, guys. I'm going to go in with my fingers, guys, and I'm going to take gold. And I'm going to tap it just in the center here, guys. Then I'm going to take now the shimmery white shadow here. It is frame. And I'm just going to use frame to highlight under my brow. Then now guys, with a clean brush, I'm just going to blend the outer edge with a clean brush guys I'm going in now guys with my liquid eyeliner from Sasha Buttercup I'm just going to create a small little line across as, as close to my lash line as possible Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline mascara, then I'm going to pop on my lashes. I'll be using my Black Pearl lashes and this one is flirty. And I'm going to use my Duo Lash Glow guys to apply this lash. these lash from um, black pearl they are super easy guys to apply and for this guys you will want a mirror you want to have the mirror under your like this guys and you're going to look down They are super, super easy, guys, to apply. Then you're going to squeeze your lash and the flawless lashes together. The Paris Hydration Fresh Toner. And I'm using my baby wipes. For moisturizer guys, I'll be using my clean and clear dual action moisturizer. And for primer, I'll be going in with my Glam Clean Professional Primer. And guys, first I'm using this foundation. It's a Fit Me foundation from Mikola and it's in the shade 230. This is a brush here guys from Real Techniques to blend it and I'm pushing it into my skin. I went ahead guys and I changed my brush. I'm using this Firma brush here from Real Techniques. Always, guys, the blend come down to your neck. 
And I'm going to take this flat brush here, guys. And I'm going to clean up above my brow. I think I like this foundation guys it's a little bit darker than my neck but when I'm going with like concealer and my contour I think it's going to tone down a little bit but I think I like it and for concealer I'll be using my LA girl concealer in the shade porcelain and I'm going to apply it under my eyes, bridge of my nose, my forehead, and around my mouth here, here. my smile line and I like to bring it out here guys and to blend this all out I'm going to go in again with my um, little blending brush here from Real Techniques and I'm using tapping motion guys Then I'm going to go in now with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to use this little brush here from Real Techniques just to set it. And again I am using tapping motion and I am not using a lot of powder guys, I'm setting here. Then I'm going to go back now guys with my foundation brush and I'm just going to tap on the outer end just to bring back just in case the, um, the highlighter is uneven you're going to go back in guys yes with the same um, foundation brush just with a little bit of the foundation I just going to tap on the outer end here. I'll be using my um, Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 375 and I'm going to do powder contour. And again guys, I'm using tapping motion. And I am brushing this up into my earline.
I'm going to come down on my jaw and I am going to um, blend this upwards. Blending upward, guys. Under my cheeks. I'm going to go back again guys with this little blending brush with my foundation brush sorry what I'm going to do now I'm going to blend the highlight and the low light you don't want to see that mark so I'm just going to blend them together I like to use this translucent powder and I'm going to lift the contour I'm just going to draw like so just to lift the contour guys And this is my Maybelline translucent powder, guys. It's almost finished. Here it is, it's my Maybelline translucent powder. And to contour my nose, I'll be using a smaller brush. It's a drugstore product, guys. No name on the on this brush, but it's super, it's super, super nice to do the contour. Let's go to draw a line down on my nose with a steady hand, guys. Then I'm going to go in now with my damp beauty blender. Just the soft one that shadow there gonna go in now with this um fluffy brush here from real techniques and i'm going to dust away any remaining powder for blush guys i'll be going in with this magic cream blush here to use my damp beauty blender I did went ahead and I apply my master chrome highlighter to all the eye points of my face but my god guys I don't know where that clip is and I really apologize for that but I did apply my highlighter brush here guys and I'm going to take up I want a matte I think I'm going to take this shadow here guys it is uh 
ambitious and I'm going to put it in my inner corner like so to give the eye to open up my eyes and for my lips guys I'll be lining my lips guys also from a shadow from our Wahala palette and I'm going to pick up again I'm going to pick up Asa Asa and I'm going to line up my lips I'll be going in with this little lip gloss here from Ultra Gloss. No, sorry guys, from Ultra Beauty. My bad. I went in here now guys with my LA color um, press powder in the shade toffee just to tone down this look a little bit more so guys this is a final look hope you guys like it don't forget to like share tell a friend to tell a friend subscribe guys it's Clarice here Mwah. thanks for watching